I guess when you win something, you better go pick it up. Mm. Or open for pallet. Mm, yeah, exactly. Any uh, new projects, guys? Yep, new projects. Recently, I already sent an email to everybody. Has even on his website. New projects. Mm -hmm. He's been doing some new projects. All right. Yep, yep. Here's the email, a direct email. Artie's reading it himself. Hi everyone, I'm pleased to announce that Penguin Production, a proud original member of Artie Inc., is coming back. We haven't had an original project since January with Rocco and Artie, and I have some in the works. What is that? Stop motion. One line includes stop motion shorts of toys and other things. Mostly stuffed animals being alive. Possibly a new name with things being alive series. Oh, be a me already being alive with no hands in the way of the camera. Woo! That's gonna be interesting, don't you think? Like yeah. Toy Story. Oh, yes. I'm also gonna do, um, try to say, Pinnacle Productions presents a Scott Bush film, Things Being Alive series, episode one, already a bag one. Others include cooking, the ingredients for making the food, building Legos, and others. If you have any ideas, just apply on the website or post. Live action, now for the main part, a part project about teleportation. It would be starring Artie, me Artie, Artie's dad, maybe Artie's mom. It would be my very first project to film the different locations. Some of them, some places we teleport include other rooms, the backyard, stores in town, family, including teleporting to Grandma and Mona. And to achieve the teleportation special effects, instead of using the special effects, take a picture of us there in the departure room, one of us gone, one of an empty arrival location, and one of us has a arrival location. This will be the first one where I try to get bonus behind the scenes footage too with an extra camera or something like that. Oh, good. And the filming would take place over different days, and since we have to go to all the locations some are far away, it would not be completely finished until about late July or early August. If you would like your location to be in the project, or any other project, please fill out the form below. Mm -hmm. and stuff, just call us and tell us your location and stuff. Yeah, so it's a pretty interesting That's project. Good. What's this film, Polly's Filming Company? Polly's Filming? Filming July 1st. What is that all about? I remember Polly, remember in the last newscast with Polly, he was speaking and said like, we'll look for more info on action thing we use for, and that's the more info. Mm, okay. And Artie's been working on the roads. What kind of roads? What are you doing, Artie? Well, I'm doing some road work here, and I'm by 225 out of loop. Oh, okay. Well, you've done a lot of work on there, so. Yep, so. But, uh, and that's what's Polly. Remember, he's opening his mm -hmm. film studio. Well, uh, Polly's opening. I'm opening my film studio July 1st. Please, information soon. Yeah, so that, that road thing is. The road thing is about on the I 25 outer loop. Don't forget Polly's filming company. Opening July 1st. So, on the outer loop of I-225, just north of 2nd Street, we redid the entrance and the entrance reps from 2nd Street. Before, they used to... Don't forget Polly's Filming Company, opening July 1st. We actually filmed some of the projects on the road. So, anyway, um, for the entrance and extra reps, before they used to come in, they used to come in, and the third lane, and then they exit again. But now we have this really night. We did this idea. So here's the road. Here's the road right here. And then the ramp goes. It goes to the left and merges in the road. <laughs> and then the other ramp just goes straight into the exit. Mm -hmm. That's good. Enough. It will be easier to see the videos and stuff, but. They're going to be doing lane closures periodically, and you currently have to exit on the Wilt, and not Wilt, on the Main Street exit. Currently have to exit there. 
Yep, so just make sure and stay tuned for all the traffic updates and be slow on the roads, don't run anybody over. Sharon's version, we're just going to tell you what part of it. It's called Bringing the Picture to You, a behind the scenes narrative about how we bring the picture to you. This is about, we are, uh, we're going to talk about, today we'll talk about our, not our channel, our nearly licensed low power analog channel 4. Remember that digital transition? Mm -hmm. You often have to have digital TV. But if you don't, if you just do it for a hobby or you don't want to buy a converter box and, and um, you want to watch on your older television set, mm -hmm. then now we have done a low power TV station in analog of this. So you can see it now on channel 4, old channel 4. Now on your TV. Mm, that's good. You skip it? Yep. What else did the birds do this week? Well, tell them about what happened today. Mm. Mm. Yep, so Artie and Artie Dad were going to eat, and he was like, we were backing up and stuff, and then there was a construction fence there, and then he, Artie Dad backed the truck up, and he clipped the fence, and he scratched the back end all up. Mm hmm. Fix it up, guys. I gotta lose some scratch magic. Whatever. Thing that Artie told me to buy it at the store, so let's see how good it is. And all these infomercials, all they want you to do is spend money, and we'll test it out and see how good it is. Yep, so look for the results next year. Yeah. Remember, guys, don't forget to visit the website and make suggestions. It's what makes it better. New stories and everything else that you can think of, what you want us to put on there. Call us at. 215-587-0125, extension 2. We'll be happy to answer your calls. Thank you for joining us, guys, today. It's been a pleasure to talk to you, and hopefully we won't be off the air too long. Sorry about those color bars this beginning with this newscast. Here's your schedule on what's coming up next. Friday Night Lights, we will push all NBC programming into 10 o'clock slot. Yep, but actually that was all. So we already, remember we took a break, like um, about 20 minutes ago, the Friday Night Lights paused, so you know. Mm -hmm. And that will be all to save time, because it was like, because if we did it like this, then we would have it rain to g and you know, it all gets pushed back to past 12. Don't forget, Pauly's Filming Company, coming soon, July 1st. We will let you know. Yep, so we... That's what will happen in a little bit. Toy Story 3. Next coming Friday. The toys are back in town. Toys are back in town. Make sure you go see it, guys. What's important is we stay together. Dun dun dun, Toy Story 3. In all threads of mentioned, who knows? In English, in 3D, June 18th, Friday. See it. Do -do. We will have a drawing for free tickets that are valid on No Pass Movies. See online for details.